If the Procreate 5.4 update shuffled your brushes and the new classic library feels a bit chaotic and out of order, don't worry, it's not just you. I'm hearing from a lot of people that their carefully arranged sets have reordered and what once felt organized and now feels a little messy and overwhelming. So today I'm gonna to show you how to sort, move and rename your brushes so your unruly classic library gets a bit of order back and we can take full advantage of those five 5.4 brush library features. By the end, your brushes will not only be back in order, but you'll also be enjoying all those new sorting features and ready to explore and enjoy creating again. If we haven't met before, hi, my name's Nicole from iPad Calligraphy, where I teach curious creatives how to use the iPad for lettering and design. Stick around to the end as well, because I'm gonna also share a handy little workaround so you can actually view the brush thumbnail designs on your desktop to see what brushes and Procreate files you have without needing to go into Procreate. If you want an overview of the new features in Procreate 5.4, plus a full visual directory of all 180 new brushes, I've put together a free cheat sheet you can download. Find the link just below this video. All right, let's get started. So I'm not going to go through the new Procreate brushes in this video, that's coming next week. But fun fact for you, the hydrangeas painting that you're looking at now was made with the new oil set from 5.4. Honestly, all the brushes are really amazing and I can't wait to dive into them more with you in the next video. This week though, we're focusing on getting your classic library under control. One of the fantastic things about 5.4 is the addition of the iCloud backup for your brush sets and libraries. When you first update, you'll get a prompt that lets you save your brushes to iCloud. Now, if you look inside your iCloud, you'll see a Procreate Brushes folder and you'll find both the classic and the Procreate library there. Any changes you make from here like moving brushes or creating new libraries all of that automatically syncs with iCloud now. Before we dive in let's double check that your iCloud setting is actually switched on in Procreate. So head to your actions tab that's the little spanner icon go into your prefs menu here and make sure that store brushes in iCloud is toggled on. That way anything you do now will be safely saved moving forward. So to break it down I'm going to walk you through this in in three separate steps. Step number one is to back up your libraries. So before touching anything, always back up. And with the new update, you don't have to export brush sets one by one anymore. To zoom out your brushes, you just give them a pinch. And now we can just long tap on the classic library here and choose share. I found this to be a bit buggy though. So if that doesn't work properly for you, the other way that's a little bit more stable is to just tap on the library name at the top and then hit share from there. So that exports your entire library as one file. And I recommend naming it with the date or something like that so you always know which version you're looking at. Save it in a dedicated folder in iCloud or Dropbox, but I recommend saving it somewhere outside of that new Procreate Brushes folder in iCloud just so that you've always got a separate archive backup. So the version that's in the Procreate Brushes is always gonna be the newest up-to-date synced with Procreate, but you might wanna archive things like we're doing now so if you ever wanted to step backward you have that backup ready. Step number two is to clear out your brushes. So over time it's easy to accumulate way too many brushes. I have a ton and it is a nightmare so I'm, I'm glad of this opportunity to do some sorting. So now's the perfect time to go back through your sets and ask yourself do I really need these? If not just get rid of them and if you only use a couple of brushes from a bigger set just pull those into a new set and delete the rest. Your library will be so much more organized and easy to navigate. The main actions you'll use with brush sets are really straightforward. Just tap on a set and the menu will expand with options to delete, share, rename, or even customize the icon. And for individual brushes, you can reorder them by tapping and holding and then just dragging them to wherever you want. And if you swipe left on a brush, you'll see the options to share, duplicate, or delete. As part of this step, I like to group my Procreate default sets together. So unless you've changed any icons in your classic library, 
library, the old default sets will still show with their original Procreate icons. This was how Procreate used to distinguish their old sets from custom ones before those customized icon option was even a feature. So anything you've installed yourself will usually just show either with a little generic brush swoosh icon or an emoji if you had one in the beginning of the title. So I find it helpful to group those together. For example, I keep my recents and favorites right at the top and then start my Procreate sets from the third slot down. I also recommend creating a favorite set. That way you've got quick access to your go-to brushes. You just swipe on a brush, choose duplicate and then drag it to copy it into your favorites and the reason I like that duplicate version is because it means I, I still know where that brush originally came from and I still have a copy of it in its original set and if you're wondering about the emojis I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Don't forget though about your imported set because anytime you install a single brush it gets put in there so this is a great opportunity to rehome those brushes into the categories that actually make sense. So we're up to step number three, create category libraries and sort. Once you've trimmed things down, it's time to get organized. In Procreate 5.4, you can create whole new libraries. So it's a much cleaner solution than the old methods. So think about what categories make the most sense for your workflow. For me, I created separate libraries for lettering, watercolor, textured, inking, and stamps. But you can organize them in any way that makes sense for you, maybe by style, maybe by artist. One of the main bonuses inside my iPad Calligraphy from Scratch course bundle is all of my Procreate brush packs. So I'm actually planning to go back and repackage those as one library so students can just install everything in just a couple of taps. So to create a new library, you just want to tap the plus icon at the top right. You'll get a text field to name it. If your keyboard doesn't automatically pop up, just look for a little keyboard icon down in the bottom right. Tap that and your keyboard will appear. You can move it around the screen just by dragging this little line icon at the bottom here. And this is also where you'll find the option to show emojis. So if you want to add an emoji as your library icon and can't find the emoji keyboard that's the spot to open it and to move brush sets into your new library we want to tap and hold on the first brush and then you can select others to add to that just keeping a hold on it we're going to pinch out to zoom out to the libraries with our other fingers open the new library and just drag those new sets into there and you can see now that the changes I made today are already reflected in my iCloud folder my external storage is completely up to date and it's even created new folders for those extra libraries I added. And of course one of my favorite features with the 5.4 update was the new search function. Once you've got a library open you just pull down from the top and your search bar appears. Type in the name of the brush or you can even type a set name as well because it searches both and it instantly finds any brushes or sets that contain those characters even if it's in another library. So this is actually a really great shortcut cut to even jump to another library. If you're in the classic and you want to jump to the Procreate library, you can just type in a brush name to save you a bit of time and just jump straight to that brush. And while we're at it, here's a handy shortcut for accessing brushes while you're working on a project. You can set up the quick menu feature. So to do this, go into the actions tab and then into prefs, then gesture controls. On the left hand side, you'll see quick menu. I've got mine set up so that if I hold the modify button which is the one that looks like a little square and tap the screen once with my apple pencil the quick menu pops up so from there you can customize each button to change them you just need to tap and hold and a menu will appear and you can just scroll through the menu and find what you need there's one called select brush so this lets you assign specific brushes to those buttons for example when I was painting these hydrangeas I set the top button to the olive brush brush which is from the new oil set and the bottom one to the Moriarty so those were the 
the two brushes I was switching between most and setting them up in quick menu meant that I could toggle between them really fast without digging through the library. If you want to use emojis instead of the standard icons, just add an emoji to the first character in your set name. If there's no custom icon assigned, it should automatically just pop into that little space on the left. So to turn that off, you just open the custom icon flyout, find the icon and then tap it again to toggle it off. And now your emoji will show up automatically. So that's very cool. So before we go, as promised, I wanted to share one more tip with you. There's an amazing app called Prospect and it's created by Jerome Vogel. He's a fantastic Procreate artist. And it's a Mac only app, but what it does is super handy. You can use it to view Procreate files on your desktop. You just have it installed. And then when you go in your finder and you go into the folder, it will show the thumbnails of your brushes and your color palettes, as well as your Procreate files. I've left a link to that app below in the description if you want to grab it. Okay, so that's it for this one. I hope it helped you create some order in your brush files and don't forget you can download the free 5.4 cheat sheet it walks you through all the new features plus there's a full visual directory of all 180 new brushes download it using the link below or just head to ipadcalligraphy.com forward slash procreate dash five four thanks for joining me i'll see you next week where we're going to dive a bit more into those new brushes see you then